inside of me and uh, to say a little bit of, about me, why you should vote for me. I was born and raised in Brownsville and uh, it took me only 25 years of, of college to get my degree. But I got <laughs> <laughs> the reason I did it because I wanted to show my grandsons and my sons. Uh, Mr. McHale knows that my sons, they were good at sports, but I don't know why they, they didn't go to college. Anyway, I joined the fire department and I served 26 years in the fire department. In 73, 74, I was working as a deputy constable under Isauro Gonzalez, one of the best constables we had in Brownsville. And in 75, I joined the fire department and I asked him if he would still keep me. He said, yes, I don't see why not. Because the fireman, you work one day, you're off two days. See, and so he hired me as a deputy constable and I served under him for six years. And then he retired. He, he didn't want to run anymore, so he retired. And it made me decide, after I retired from the fire department, I said, where should I work so they don't have to order me around, you know? <laughs> because everywhere I was looking for a job, do this, and even there, come here. But I wanted to be a coach. One of the, the best things, I wanted to be a coach. But they never hired me there, the BISD. I don't know why, and I was helping the, the high schools, the, the, the girls' softball team, the pitchers especially. I am still teaching the girls how to pitch. The one from Veteran is going to be one of the best pitchers. And uh, I teach young girls, eight, eight years old, seven years old, whatever the age. And I've been coaching since uh, I was 18 years old. Hey, when I gave you that recommendation, you were blacklisted. <laughs> <laughs> See, and uh, can, who knows what a constable is? Who knows? All right, you know, the constable was in the England, he was a count of the king's table. They would take care of the horses for the king, and then he was uh, established in the 5th century in the Western world. And then in 1830, in 1862, they, they got elected for the, under the judges. So they were for, under the judges. The constable, in, the, in other words, the, the police department, they have cop, so... C-O-P, cop. What is it? It's a policeman, right? No, it's constable on patrol. See? Anyway, it's the, I ran for constable and, and I won. And uh, then Mr. Villalobos asked me, he said, you going to work for me? And I said, no, sir. And he, said, he was surprised. He thought I was going to say, yeah, I'm going to work for you. Because I said, I'm going to do the constable job description, what it says in the in the constitution of the constable. Oh, we don't patrol the levy, we got border patrol, we got ice, we got church, we got, okay? We don't uh, raid arcades, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, we don't do uh, human smuggling and investigating, we don't do mental patient transfer. And that's what the other uh, constable was doing under Mr. Villalobos. He would go and do mental patient transfers and then he would go and raid houses with the drugs and then close our gates. And uh, I don't do that. I don't. I, don't, I only do the constable the job description of the constitution. And this morning we had two funerals. And they took, that's what I do most. Help the people out. Or when the carnivals, the churches, they need the patrols or security. I help them myself. Too. There's there's people that have quinceañeras, weddings. I help them and I don't charge them. Then the policemen got mad because they said that I have too many funerals. And then I was charging, I said, no sir, I don't charge. So what I started doing was, if you wanted to help an escort, you go to the courthouse, fill out a form, that you're not paying and you're not doing this, and then I keep it there in case they come and say, how many funerals have you done? So many, here's a, you can ask the people, call the people up, see how much they gave you. So I don't, I don't charge, I do the funeral, if you ever need an escort or a party, and you have need securities, they charge you like twenty to thirty dollars an hour. And I'll, I'll give it to you free. Not because I'm running, the way it is. And uh, I would like to thank you, uh, all the people again. And I want you to go out and vote July the 23rd until the 27th, and July the 31st is the election day. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you.